Greenhouse chemistry, recrystallizing salt, sodium chloride. On the left, we've got a sample of cooking salt. This is very inexpensive, but also contains an anti-caking agent, which is listed on the pack as sodium ferrocyanide. On the right, we've got some sea salt. List of ingredients, sea salt. We've made saturated solutions of both salts in water, which I'm now going to pour into the grey bowls and we'll observe what happens with regards to their evaporation and crystallization of the salt that results. So here's the table salt or cooking salt that contains sodium ferrocyanide. About 150 mils there. And on the right hand side, here's the saturated solution made from the sea salt. Again, we'll pour as much as we can, only about 70 or 80 mils available there. So there we are. We now need to leave the two samples to evaporate there and see what kind of solids are produced from the two samples of sodium chloride. Recrystallization of sodium chloride. So here we are about 20 hours later. On the right we've got some sea salt that's recrystallizing from a saturated solution and at the bottom of the solution we've got little squares of crystals, cubic crystals then, um, whereas on the left here the table salt or cooking salt with sodium ferrocyanide as an anti-caking agent, this doesn't give nice cubic or square shaped crystals. We've got lots and lots of irregularly formed sort of crystals and uh, not the same at all. But to see these on the video we probably need to get the close-up camera and that's what we'll be doing next.